Hello everyone, welcome to Illustral Plants. My name is Crystal Cedar and today I wanted to share my Cosmic Watercolor haul from the Happy Planners Spring Release. This was the one line that I was really, really interested in getting the most pieces from. The other one was Teeny Florals. Uh, they were just awesome. Like, I just thought they were so cute. They were the colors that I liked, but especially this Cosmic Watercolor collection because I like all cosmic -y things, very stargazer things, but I had gotten super tired of like how dark all of the colors in the stargazers were getting to be. When I started planning in 2018, stargazer was super cute with like light colored pastels. There was like a really cool unicorn planner. Like it was just really light and airy, just like this. And then somewhere along the line, autumn happened forever <laughs> for anything stargazer related and it was just like night sky and zodiac and constellation which was cute the first time but not like the fifth time around so i was really excited when this one came out i am an energy worker practitioner um i also do practice craft i've been practicing craft for most of my life and i do observe all the espats and the sabbats and so i thought it would be a really cool and unique perspective from someone's uh, pagan point of view to kind of review these items. So the first two items that I'm going to go over in this Cosmic Watercolor Mini Happy Planner haul are the two that I ordered in the beginning of March and end of April during the tax refund sales of early spring. And I got the Cosmic Watercolor sticker book and the Planner Companion Accessories Pack. Used to call them planner companion packs, but let's get fancy, I guess. So this is the sticker book. I automatically liked it uh, because it's like you can only stargazer it for so long with the black color, darkness, like super pigmented greens and blues. And it's just like it was so frustrating for me because I love all things cosmic, anything with crystals on it. Um, I love pastel colors, actually, even more and the tie-dye and it's just like this has everything this encapsulates everything that i really love um as far as aesthetics go but i was getting super frustrated with stargazer stickers because it was just like what else could you offer me happy planner <laughs> with these stickers like the typical one was like the hand the hand sticker you know what i'm talking about it's like the profile and then it's like saying here <laughs> like meditate and it's like bro there's like a lot more to you know mysticism and things like that than just that hand and so i thought this would shake things up a little bit so i'm just going to give a quick flip through oh also i got this sticker book because i thought it would be the perfect companion to this sticker book this is actually a recollection sticker book uh that you can get at michael's and i do have the uh a flip through review of the sticker book on my channel and i'll put the link in the description for that flip through this was only 4.99 five no sorry six five ninety nine when i purchased it so to just kind of show like see if this is compatible <laughs> let's try it this way is that oh yeah look at that Let me kind of bring it in a little closer yes the colors are a match that is the perfect mauve. Oh my god, this is gonna look so pretty together. Because whatever this sticker book doesn't offer, this one most likely will. But look how pretty this book is. This is Cosmic Watercolor. This is the Recollection Celestial book. I got icons. Like they're all, they match. So pretty. I really love the pink marbling of this, but these are all compatible. I like how I'm doing a simultaneous like let's get to something there like look how cute got florals from the celestial book that'll go right with this and these deco stickers i'm pretty sure i'm going to use both of these sticker books in my june monthly layout which i haven't even done yet so if you haven't either don't feel bad about it but in june we celebrate the summer solstice fire festival of letha and letha is a very important holiday i don't know in my book because it's also known as midsummer which is very popularly celebrated in parts of europe in finland scandinavian countries nordic countries like midsummer is a big deal and so i thought this would be really pretty to kind of use for a letha spread 
Look at that. This is Recollections. Sorry. This is a Recollections sticker book. I'm just comparing it with the Cosmic Watercolor sticker book. Because I kind of bought the two to go together. Ah, I'm loving this. Just look at this. If there were any doubts that these two would be compatible, like, bro, look at this. So cute. I've been doing it a lot lately with, um, kind of combining my recollection sticker books with my happy planner sticker books just because they both offer something different and it's the different that I like give you some letter stuff like I don't think happy planner would ever come out with stickers that look like this and I have not seen yet uh, recollections come out with stickers like this with like this much wasted space but it's fine this is for like a good horizontal layout but just like look how compatible that is so sorry this was the celestial recollection sticker book that you can get at michael's it's 9.99 regular price but i bought this one on sale for 6.99 i've seen it as low as like 5.99 i mean who knows it can even go down to 4.99 but it's under 10 bucks y'all grab it especially if you're thinking about getting the cosmic watercolor sticker book because they are totally simpatico there's some words and some really pretty boxes. Okay, this is one more time. <laughs> Just compare. <laughs> look, look how pretty that would be. I just see my Letha spread like totally happening. And more little boxes. These are gold foiled, by the way, just regular gold foiled. Some swooshes, swooshes. These, I wish they had done more of this page, but like in the pink, and with like this kind of like pistachio green situation or sage green situation instead of just one and it's just blue but either way i'm not complaining i love it you can always cut it up and use them more than once which is probably what i'll do and then these are the sayings look to the stars with shimmering eyes this life is pretty wonderful this is my favorite sticker from the whole book the universe is shaking you to awaken you yes it can just so cute and then you've got the starry swoosh and then you've got some headers kind of ish this is bring on today and then weekend and then plans on the side in gold foil this is on clear sticker paper this is on clear sticker paper too big words and then that's it so very very happy that i got this to go with this it's gonna be it's gonna be gorgeous so the main event of this mini haul was this planner companion accessories pack i like saw this in the squad box reviews and i like went ballistic i was like i need all of this because i love the pouch i love the paper i love everything about it so um i haven't gone through it yet so here is the pouch that comes with it that has very joyfully replaced the little bootsy bracelets that used to come with these companion packs let's just keep it 100 i never use those bracelets i don't know anyone who's ever used those bracelets it's like thinking of gathering all the charms that i've gotten over the years and like turning it into like a planner charm thing possibly i don't know but here's the inside it's big enough to hold like a flare let's just test it out yeah you can hold your flares in here with your white out and um adhesive tape or glue stick if you're like me that uses a glue stick versus adhesive tape highlighters will fit in here as well but it's nice and small so it can go pretty much everywhere or you can use it as a little makeup bag so thank you for switching to the little pouch instead of the bracelets happy planner and then you open it up and it's a beautiful kind of dashboard it kind of sucks because the zipper and the packaging is like this and so the zipper always bonks like these dents into the cover which i wish they would have covered or figured out a different way to package it so that didn't happen but it's fine i'm still gonna punch it and use it in my planner system so when you open it up look at this so excited okay so let's zoom out here so i am addicted to dashboards and envelopes. I've been addicted to them for several years now, since I started planning pretty much. I don't know, actually since the envelopes came out, because I remember when the envelopes first came out and I was like, 
all all the things <laughs> i need these envelopes for what i don't know but i like them so here are three that you get in the companion pack suites so you get two small size ones and then one regular size one so this small one says this life is pretty wonderful and then you turn it over it's got this really pretty alcohol ink cosmic watercolor situation and then it's just white and then the second one is so pretty look at that lost in a daydream and then you turn it over and it's got kind of like the more lighter colored watercolor against this darker luxe kind of black with gold and then the long envelope says live by the sun love by the moon and then you turn it over and then you've got look at that beautiful kind of like panel of like the lighter, lighter color cosmic watercolor and then this nice black flap i love contrast and i'm so thankful that happy planner does too so that's really cute so you get three envelopes so excited and then you get paper Let's see if i can get this out there look at the inside of this folder though what i'll do is i'll probably punch through this cut this open so that it's easier to like take things out of round it out and then um, this will be one side folder and then this will probably be another side folder because like look at this it says keep looking towards the stars with shimmering eyes for the stars hold magic and if you believe in that magic anything is possible heck yes bring it let's go <laughs> so cute and the print is throughout the whole back it looks like so okay paper focusing let's see if it's Yep, two different kinds. Let's go here. So I believe this is 10 pages each. Yep, 10 pages each. This is the first 10. It is a really pretty notebook paper. It's just regular lines, so no dots. And then you've got this really pretty graphic here. It says, we are all under the same sky looking at the same moon. That's so pretty. And then... Got some ink down here. I like that it's not like straight up like all that and then straight up all this. It's just kind of sprinkled, sprinkled there. And then you turn it over. You've got the same continuation of the regular lines, so not dotted lines, line lines. And then you've got dash of color there, dash right there. And then this corner here says follow the moon and the stars. I like the spacing of this because sometimes the graphics and the pictures can be a little um they can be a little too big and then you can't you lose writing space but it's still cute though <laughs> but that's the first 10 pages and then this is the second group and these are ooh, these are daily sheets look at this okay so you've got a little bit of cosmic watercolor situation on the edge you've got alternating shaded lines with look at this column right here a checkbox line hello yes so for listers like me this is hella perfect and then you could put like the date there as well and then you've got this huge oval with like kind of like a subtle header dash which is kind of cool so you can put like whatever this like category is all about grocery list grocery list right there and this is a really straightforward graph so not dotted graph and then on the other side this says magic or sorry it says makes some magic and it's kind of like two-thirds most of the page is lined regular lined paper and then on the bottom it's blank with just a little bit of light marbling kind of graphic just very very light but that's really cool super cute daily sheet happy planner can you please make this a pack pack like like a regular because this is great i really am not a fan of the current daily sheets where it's like strip strip box box and like that random circle here like nobody knows what to put there and then on the back is like the next day i like it when it's just like one page of like note paper on the back so that like it's one full sheet one full day that's it but oh wouldn't that be great if this was a pack okay so moving on to the other side we've got oh cute okay so we've got 
two sheets of stickers. This says, this is paper. This has foil. So this says, kindness is greatness. This one here says, live by the sun, love by the moon. And then the same thing right here. Wonderful. Think big, start small. Follow your soul. It knows the way. Yes, it does. And then this one says, dreamer. That's cute. And then these are some decorative boxes. No lines, just blank on paper. Love that. And then you could like do all kinds of stuff. It's kind of like a decorative swoosh. Really, really pretty. Then you've got a dashboard too. Dashboard slash vision boards on cardstock. The first one says, do what you love. Look at that, all the way up the page, it's so pretty. And this is gold foil. And then the back says dream and it's got like a checklist. This would be really great to laminate and turn into like a cover or like a, a large page dashboard. Um, you use wet erase pens on this if you want or if you need. That's so pretty. That's the first one and then this is the second one. This one is more of the pink and the gold. I'm a fan of this. It says write it down on dot grid. And then this one says weekly goals with lines and then monthly goals with lines. And then on the back, it says trust the process. And then this is dot grid. This could almost be like journaling cards if you cut it up. Like that'd be cute, but that's so pretty. And then, oh sorry, you also get the caustic watercolor margin. At the punch, you get a folder. Look at this, so pretty. Kindness is greatness. It's on both sides. I think it's like the perfect kind of imagery to transition from florally spring into like early summer without it being like all beach ball and like super like summery vibes quite yet. Like it's really pretty. Ooh, look at this. This is a wet erase board straight up and it has, it's blank except for three things. It says think, dream, and plan. Um, I love this because I'm pretty much going to turn this into like my planner mini Kanban board. So this could be kind of like to do, uh, doing or current, and then this will be the completed or done. And then it has a little tab on there, so it's like quick reference, so cute. And then this is the back, and this says just magic on the bottom. Yes, it is. Look at this. It's so pretty. Uh, sticky notes work really great on these boards, just saying. And then, like, I use... Everybody has, like, a million sticky notes, but look at that. Like, perfect for, like, tasking yourself. So that is the wet erase slash sticky notes board. And then that's it. Look at that. Fully charged. That's like a very... Wow, look at the back. I didn't even see the back. Moon phases with all this... This is gold foil. That's not just the graphic. It's kind of like dark skies. That's so pretty. I'm punching it. Turning it into a folder. And because it's sideways, I can punch it like this. And then I... Oh, but then that'll be upside down. Okay, never mind. It'll be like this. <laughs> That's still really pretty. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next two items. These are the next two items that I purchased. I just bought these and they just arrived today uh, with the Memorial Day 40% off All Happy Planner items sale at Joann's with a little extra Gucci $2.99 shipping plus rewards. It was like perfect timing. The only thing that I didn't get from this whole collection was the big planner and the mini Happy Planner. I probably will get the mini Happy Planner later on down the road for like the dividers and the covers. Uh, it's a, I believe it's a dashboard layout too, so I might be able to use that uh, for my spiritual planner, but we'll see. But this is the 18 month classic sized vertical layout happy planner. And um, I don't use vertical, I use a teacher's layout that's been customized because I need lines, but I straight up bought this for the dividers and the cover. And then I got the dashboards. So let's go through the planner first really quickly. It's a beautiful cover. 
So this is what it says. It says slow down, deep breath, and start again. And look at all this really pretty gold foil. It's not really like a, yeah, I guess it's a kind of like an inky black, but it's kind of like navy blue a little bit, like a, a dark indigo ink. Look how pretty that is. Oh, sugar snaps. Look at this. Look at this cover. Look at this. It's giving me almost like the old geode, soft geode planner vibes. But ugh, to know that you can use either side of this, which is really beautiful, is going to be, is like bonus itself. And then here's the back inside cover. Look at that. And it does say plan a happy life on the bottom of this. You can barely see it though. So this would be the front cover and this would be the back. But that's still really pretty. And then the cool has the moon phases on the back. Either way you win. <laughs> Either way you win. So this is the name page. We're just gonna do a really quick flip through of the dividers and then maybe just like the first week. Oh, that's bent. Oh well, it's okay. Um, got your perpetual calendar, which is like just gray and gray. <laughs> and the regular calendar is like gray. Um, really quick story time. When I first started planning in 2019, the fall of 2019, I remember going like maybe two hours outside of the city. I'm from San Francisco because uh, San, Francisco, San Francisco does not have Joann's. So you got to go out to the burbs outside of the city in order to get to a Joann's and you have to go even further to get to a good Joann's. And the first time I went to the Joann's Mecca, <laughs> which is in the East Bay, I met a lovely older lady who was planning for a long time back when it was Mambi, um, me and my big ideas. And she shared that, like, and she saw that I was kind of like a beginner. She was like, you know, if you're going to buy a planner for just the decorations, like, I'm guessing she meant like the dividers and the covers, make sure you're getting the 18 month planners on sale instead of the 12 month planners, because that means you're going to have 18 dividers that you can play with versus just 12. <laughs> and I was like, what? I was like mind blown. It was like the best tip that a beginner happy planner could have ever received. So shout out to her. Cause she's like, she's the one, but here is the July, uh, divider for this year. So it starts in July, 2022, and it ends in December, 2023. So 18 dividers. Here we go. Here's July, 2022. Gorgeous. I'm definitely probably going to use this next month because July is my birthday month. And this one says, look to the stars with shimmering eyes. And this is totally my vibe. That's so pretty. And then August sparkle and shine September lost in a daydream which is like the cover of the companion pack we just went through. This is October. This life is pretty wonderful. This is the weekly layout, by the way. Super neutral, except for this little dash of watercolor down the margin, which I love and I miss. I miss the decorative ones. I really do, but it's okay. I understand. Like I do like that this is not shaded or anything. Here is, okay, so this is October again. This is November. Look how pretty that pink is. I might just cut the tabs off of this because when it comes to August onward, I like to plan super seasonally. And so uh, I don't know if I would ever use this in November, but we'll see. And December, this is like the cover of the mini happy planner. Actually, today is the perfect day. <laughs> to start living your dreams. Gorgeous. This is January, 2023. Keep looking towards the stars with shimmering eyes for the stars hold magic. And if you believe in that magic, anything is possible. Yes, it is. January, 2023. Let's go. <laughs> February. Look at this. Look at this printed tab though. Nice. Live by the sun, love by the moon. Sabbats and the Esbats. Here is March. Kindness is greatness. Slow down and everything you are chasing will come and catch you. This is for April 2023. May is believe in yourself. This is all gold foil. All gold foil ditty stars. So pretty. Here's June. Even the stars admire you. That's so pretty. Gold foil. Here's July for next. Ooh, 2023. It's the same. We are 
all under the same sky, looking at the same moon, but the background is water. It's like ocean, which good on you, happy planner. July, why yes, July is a water elemental month and Cancer is a water element. So boom, good job. August is so pretty. It's like pink again. Stay patient and trust your journey. The Black Lux for September 2023. Do what you love. Oh, look at this pink. Okay, yeah, more of this. <laughs> Just come up with a whole line of this. Cosmic Watercolor Part 2. The pink story. Inhale Courage. Exhale Doubt. This would be a really great one that I would cut the October tab off of and just use as just like a decorative divider. Because in October, it's all about pumpkins and Mabin and all the goodness. So that's so pretty. Here's November. Trust in the magic of wild ideas. That one is really pretty as well. Gold foil. And then the last divider is never give up on your dream. And then let's take a glimpse of that. Oh, that's so pretty. That inside cover. Look how it matches the note paper, though. So cute. <laughs> All right, sweet. So that is the planner. 18 months. She thick. But she's good thick. And then last but not least is the dashboard pack. So envelopes and dashboards, y'all. That's, that's what I love. <laughs> I collect them. It's a collection. Okay, so you get three, and these are not quite full page, but better than just this size. So this one says, Be the Light, and it's that really pretty alcohol inks, and it does fit the classic, and I'm pretty sure it'll fit in a big size. I've never used a big size planner before, but I'm sure it'll stick out with just like a little bit of space on the bottom, so that's what it looks like there. Second one is pretty wide and this one has the lost in a daydream graphic on it so it's not quite the full page but we'll take it <laughs> happy planner make the full page ones again and make them clear please they were great and last but not least is this dream dream one and the letter inside is like that really pretty cosmic watercolor and this is gold foil that's cool it's not quite clear. I thought it would be clear, but alas, it is a little bit, it has opacity. So it kind of looks like this in your planner. Get it all together. So good. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me for this little mini Happy Planner haul of the Cosmic Watercolor Collection. I really appreciate you joining me today and sharing your time. Until next time, friends and paws, everyone please take care. Bye-bye.